town meeting members, I am Peter Pingator, chair of the Community Preservation Committee, the CPC. CPC's charge is to implement the Town of Needham's Community Preservation Plan pursuant to the requirements of the Community Preservation Act, the CPA, which is a funding mechanism for cities and towns to award grants to applicants to support affordable or community housing, preservation of historic resources, acquisition and preservation of open space, and restoration and investment in recreational resources. Article 16 is the annual article in which we seek your approval to appropriate the estimated fiscal year 2021 community preservation fund revenues and allocate them pursuant to the requirements of the CPA. There are two sources of Community Preservation Act funds. The first source is property tax surcharge receipts. I will remind you that Needham adopted the Community Preservation Act in 2004. As adopted, Needham residents are billed a 2% surcharge annually on property taxes after the first $100,000 in valuation. In fiscal year 2021, which is the period 7120 through 630-21, it is estimated that Needham will receive $2,850,000 in property tax surcharges dedicated to CPA. The second source of funds is the State Community Preservation Fund. As a participating town, Needham receives a distribution from the Massachusetts Community Preservation Trust Fund. The Community Preservation Trust Fund has a complex distribution formula based upon the number of communities participating and their respective local surcharges. We usually present this article in the May town meeting and we end up estimating the percentage match that the Commonwealth will provide the town of Needham. This year is a little different. In September, the Commonwealth informed us that the estimated CPA match from the Community Preservation Trust Fund will be 17.7% of the prior year's qualifying surcharge, and that is 17.7% of fiscal year 2020's property tax surcharge. Consequently, the state CPA trust fund distribution for fiscal year 2021 is estimated to be $466,250. $3. Combining these two sources of revenue, the estimated fiscal year 2021 Community Preservation Fund revenues total $3,316,253. The Community Preservation Act mandates that annually at least 10% of property tax surcharges plus the state distribution funds be spent on actual projects or be allocated for future projects in three specific CPA reserve funds, community housing, open space, and historic resources. The remainder of the funds, minus funds allocated for administrative expenses, is placed in an annual reserve fund, which can only be used for projects in these three areas and or qualifying recreational projects. Needham's Community Preservation Committee has elected to target 11% of the estimated receipts for each special reserve to ensure that the town stays compliant with the state mandate. The required reservations estimated at 11% are 364,788 dollars for each of community housing, historic resources, and open space reserve funds. With the caveat that the required annual appropriation for historic resources is part of the payment of the debt service on the Town Hall Historic Restoration, which town meeting approved as part of the budget article in the June 8, 2020 town meeting. Referring to your warrant article, you will see Article 16 appropriates the estimated 2021 
CPA receipts as follows. Administration, $82,000. Community Preservation Fund Annual Reserve, $817,977. Community Housing Reserve, $364,788. And Open Space Reserve, $364,788. You will note that those figures do not total the combined two sources of CPA revenues of $3,316,253. Why is that, you may ask? That is because at the June 8th, 2020 town meeting, town meeting appropriated the sum of $416,675 for the debt service related to the historic restoration of Town Hall and the sum of $1,008,325 for the debt service related to the Rosemary Recreation Complex. If you combine the debt service payments, which total $1,425,000, with the appropriations listed in Article 16 of your warrant, plus the amounts shown under Articles 10, 11, 12, and 14, drawn from the Community Preservation Fund receipts, you will see that it equals the total of the two sources of CPC revenues, $3,316,253. Let me briefly address CPA fund balances. Assuming town meeting approves the appropriations for the five CPC projects on the warrant, Articles 10 through 15, Article 16 having been withdrawn, totaling $367,900. Four of the projects, totaling $261,700, will be funded from fiscal year 2021 Community Preservation Fund receipts. Those projects are the administrative portion of the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, Article 10, in the amount of $20,000. The Baptist Church Project, Article 11, in the amount of $90,200. The First Parish Church Project, Article 12, in the amount of $50,000 and the Claxton Field Lights and Diamond Design Project, Article 14, in the amount of $101,500. The balance of the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, Article 10, in the amount of $100,000, will be funded from the Community Housing Reserve and the Needham Community Farm Growing Bed Expansion Project, Article 13, in the amount of $6,200, will be funded from the Open Space Reserve. The fund balances are as follows. Beginning, looking at your left-hand column, you will see the reserve account. Beginning first with the Community Housing Reserve, we have a beginning balance of $2,194,975. Assuming uh, that the Emergency Rental Assistance Program uh, project passes, we will have a drawdown of $100,000. And pursuant to this article, we will add an additional amount of $364,788, with the total being $2,459,763. Similarly, Open space has a beginning balance of $1,083,356. We would draw down the amount of $6,200 for our community farms expansion. And we would add in $364,788 pursuant to this warrant article for a total of $1,441,944 in this open space reserve account. 
With respect to historic resources, I noted earlier that there was no deposit in that account because we use those funds to fund in part the bonds, bond obligations we have for the historic uh, restoration of town hall. We carry an administrative, if you will, balance of $15,820 in that reserve account. Our CPA fund annual reserve has an additional amount of $817,977. The totals of all of those reserve accounts plus our CPA fund annual reserve account is in the lower right hand corner and that is $4,705,504. Please note, the figures above Assume that $82,000 has been appropriated for the fiscal year 2021 administrative expenses. Also, the figures do not include the eventual free cash funds that will be finalized in late 2020. Let me finish by thanking Town Meeting for its support of the CPC warrant articles that have been presented in this Town Meeting. I encourage Town Meeting members and all members of our community to attend our Community Preservation Committee meetings. Uh, where we assess proposals for funding that are submitted to the CPC in each annual funding cycle. Applications for CPC funds are due December 1st of the year preceding our spring town meeting. The CPC meets fairly regularly on Wednesday nights in the months leading up to town meeting in, this, in the spring. The CPC also holds a public hearing each year on all proposals for funding in anticipation of our town meeting. Please try to attend. It is important for us to hear all perspectives on how we spend these limited and precious taxpayer dollars. Finally, I note that we have our annual report available online. Thank you, and thank you for supporting CPA. The CPC asks for your support on Article 16.